let's start by doing the solar system chart for science. Sit up. Pay attention. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. One more time. Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. And you do need to know them in order so that you could put them in order on and say which one is which. All right, we're going to be on page 142. Let's read the terms to remember first. Star, a heavenly body that is a giant ball of hot, glowing gas. So what star is your the most popular star that you know of? Sun. Yes, your sun. That is a star. A giant ball of hot glowing gas. Alright, read the next term to remember. Milky Way Galaxy. The system of stars in our solar system is a part of constellation. A group of stars that makes a picture. North Star, a star almost always located above the North Pole. That would be Heidi's name. North Star. And let's begin reading. Stars. Not only did God give the Earth a perfectly working solar system, but He also gave us the stars. There are billions of stars in the universe, too many for us to ever count. Yet God knows and names each one. Like our sun, stars are giant balls of hot glowing gas. This is why they can put out both light and heat energy. And we already talked about when we were just learning about plants, that the sun gives light and heat energy. We also learned about that at the beginning when we were talking about energy, that the sun gives off both light and heat energy. Our galaxy. Do you know where I'm at? Then get your eyes there, please. Our galaxy. Our solar system is part of a much larger system of stars called the Milky Way Galaxy. In ancient times, the Greeks and Romans saw the Milky Way in the night sky, and it reminded them of milk. That is where we get the name of our galaxy. There are many stars beside our sun that are part of the Milky Way. From a from far into space, the Milky Way looks like a giant spiral. If we were to travel across the Milky Way from one side to the other in a spaceship, it could take 100,000 years. So does that mean a person could do it? No. No. We don't live that long. There are other galaxies beside the Milky Way in the universe. All right, so that is a picture taken from space of the Milky Way galaxy. So you can see how it looks like it's in a spiral. Okay, top of the next page. Constellations. The sky is filled with pictures and stories. If you use your imagination as people have done throughout history, you can see them. One of these pictures is called Orion the Hunter. Can you see the three stars that make up Orion's belt? All right, so if you look at that picture right there, those stars, a long time ago, somebody decided those stars looked like a hunter with a bow. So you can see the stars that make up his bow. You can see the one arm lifted up. And you see the three stars close together that make up his belt. Can you guys see that? Yes. All right. If you look carefully enough, you can see his shield. I thought that was a bow. I don't know. I thought it was a bow, too. That Maybe there's something he's, he's holding, holding up. Maybe he's holding up a shield. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's his shield. No, that's... that's We're not going to argue about it. I don't know. You don't know. Okay. I'm thinking maybe the thing he's holding up is a shield. Because that does look like a bow in the front. The stars that make up Orion have always been as God arranged them. Job mentions this star picture in the Bible. There are many other star pictures in the night sky. A constellation is a group of stars that makes a picture. The Big Dipper and the Little Dipper are constellations that are easy to find. They look like ladles or dippers. The Little Dipper has a very special star called the North Star. It is almost it is always almost right above the North Pole. All right, so I want you to look at the pictures below. Don't turn the page. 
Look at the pictures. They are showing the Little Dipper there. But do you see how the Little Dipper looks like it keeps moving? You see the dipper part and then you can see the handle. Does everybody see how that looks like a dipper with a handle? No. Yes. Yes. Okay. Four stars that are like this would be the dipper. And then they have stars like that. That would be the handle. Oh. Okay? Yeah, and you see, see how it looks like it keeps moving. But that's a little dipper. But is it really moving? No. no says the position of the Little Dipper every six hours. So every six hours, it looks like it's moved. But who's moving? The Earth. Yeah, the Earth is the one that's moving. Read the verse with me before we turn the page. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades or loose the bands of Orion? He was talking about those constellations in the Bible. Job 38, 31. Turn the page. If you study constellations, it might seem that they are moving. Depending on the time of night or even the season of the year, they look as though they are slowly moving across the sky. We know, however, that stars do not move in the way planets and moons do. So where is the movement coming from? The Earth. It is Earth that is moving. Remember, Earth is rotating on its axis. This is why the sun seems to rise in the morning and set at night. This is also why stars and constellations seem to move as well. Because Earth is orbiting the sun, constellations may also be seen in a different part of the sky depending on the season. True or false? Stars are made of hot, glowing gases. True. The Milky Way is the only galaxy of the universe. True. False. It is false. They said there are many galaxies. The Milky Way is the one we live in, but it is not the only galaxy. It is just one of the galaxies in the universe. Constellations are found in different places in the night sky because of the Earth's orbit. True. 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 Very good. And it's the same with the moon. How many of you felt like the moon was moving? And it wasn't the moon that was moving. It was no. us. Doing for the quiz with you. We may start that tomorrow. 